Okay, this segment is actually sponsored by the Harmony Foundation. He's Dan Petty. He's the Digital Director of Sports for the Denver Post. So let us know what's trending now at DenverPost.com. Well, you guys have talked about both of these things already, but the biggest thing trending right now just all across the map broke late yesterday is Troy Tulowitzki's possibility of being, uh, asking his agent for a trade when they meet face-to-face in Los Angeles. And Benjamin Hockman has a lunch special column today asking about how realistic this a move like this would be for the Mets. Would they have to end up giving up too much starting pitching or too many people in their developmental system in order to make something like this even enticing? They're loaded. The Mets are loaded with young pitching. Um, they are they willing have, to part for it, especially in the oh, league yeah, now? Yeah, when, yeah, yeah. Look, especially in the league now where you need good pitching to win. Which the you all, you always need good pitching to win. You always need it. Um, but here's the deal. It's the perfect fit because they, they've got a guy at shortstop who really is a reserve infielder. And they need not only a better shortstop, but they need a bat in mm-hmm. the middle of the line. I mean, think about this. Michael Kadair is hitting cleanup for them at times. Mm-hmm. That's not a good lineup. If Michael's a good hitter, but he shouldn't be hitting cleanup for a good team. So Tulo would fit right in there, and the Mets have what the Rockies want and need, good young pitching. So I think it's a great fit. During the offseason talks about whether Tulo Whiskey would be traded to the Mets, the, someone asked Kadire after he'd signed with the Mets, would Troy Tulo Whiskey be a great fit here? And he said, well, yeah, I don't want to tamper. I'm paraphrasing. But yes, he'd be a great player for the Mets yeah. to have. Who, everybody would say that. But I'm sure they've gone to Kadair and said, tell us what you know about Troy. And I'm sure he told him good things and probably told him, you know, if he's healthy, he's yeah. the best shortstop. Probably started in salivating. So here's my concern that nobody's brought up in all of this yet. The Rockies have made some really bad deals. Would they be out? of their league, no pun intended, when they made this trade. Because they made a deal with the Atlanta Braves and gave up a catcher that most of us have not heard of. He is doing a great job for the Atlanta Braves. The two pitchers they got in return are not any good. (laughs) Mm -hmm. David Hell hasn't been in the major leagues. The other one is uh, in double A somewhere, lost. They got nothing for a guy who was considered a very good minor league catcher. Well, Do you think if Jeff they, Reitich well, hey, makes a difference this well, time around? He, yeah, though? I was just going to get to that. If Dan O'Dowd were still here, I wouldn't trust any trade but, they but made. But Reitich made that deal that I just talked about. No, I, I understand, but it was a mi- <laughs> it was really a minor deal. This is a major deal. We haven't seen what Reitich can do outside of signing Kyle Kendrick, which not a lot of people are wild about. <laughs> oh. But this is a major deal. Major. This is a blockbuster, to use Do a cliche. Tr- and you trust Bright, it's to I don't know yet. Based I don't know yet. I know he's a smart do you guy. See this is, I don't know how good he is at this. How do you see this as different from from a fan's perspective? Troy Tulowitzki asking, potentially asking for a trade versus Carmelo Anthony. What what is this? How different is the sentiment? Well, to me, it's an indictment two. of the franchise that your star mm-hmm. player is asking to leave. He obviously believes they can't win here. Um, does that answer your question? I, I guess, do you see this as different from Carmelo saying, I want out, versus Troy Tulowitzki saying, I, yeah, I want totally. out? Yeah, totally. I see it differently. Yeah. Carmelo, Carmelo wanted out for other reasons. Because Lala could go to New York, and right. he could go play in New York. Troy, I think, uh, would love a career here if they won. He wants a career. Yeah, Carmelo didn't necessarily want to win. It wasn't yeah. the, the top thing on his priority list. For too low it is. Yeah. Yeah, because he went to a bad team that's had right. a record that's worse than the Nuggets since he went there. Yeah. Uh, the second thing, and you guys, again, have already mentioned this, but uh, again, trending Pat on being elected into the ring of fame uh, for the Broncos. He's the 20th member unanimously voted in, and he will be uh, brought in November 1st. Uh, he, I'm sorry. He will be honored November 1st at Sports Authority Field during their Sunday night game against the Packers. He has the most overall wins, regular season wins, uh, most overall playoff appearances among owners since he bought the team in 1984. And uh, I, I guess I just want to get your guys' take on that and um, you know the fact that he's really sort of out of the limelight at this point. He's he's not involved in any day to day operations or anything like this. But this is a, a nice gesture for the team to make um, to acknowledge all that he's done for the franchise. He he, he was brought out to practice uh, one day last season. Last season and for the team photo, I said, think. Said yeah, said hello to Peyton. Uh, it, it's too late. Truthfully, it should have already been done. I chuckled a bit when you said unanimously mm-hmm. Joe Ellis made the decision to put yeah. him in. This, I mean, there's there's three or four other guys that 
Yeah, make it unanimous. So that that's a little bit misleading. Of course, he would be if there were 5,000 people on the committee. Yeah. But yeah, he, he obviously deserves to be in there. But I think what's more important to all of us, he should be in the Hall of Fame, the National Football League Hall of Fame. He has been, a, he was enough of a of a great owner with his own field product and with what he did for the league in terms of broadcasting. He was head of the broadcasting yeah. career when they went from here to here. And he was a vital member of a lot of different committees. Uh, so not only his accomplishments with his football team, which were as good as anybody during the period he owned the team, but with the league too. Is he going in alone? Will he have the spotlight so on So far he's the only one. I, I don't they'll know. Do, they'll do they'll that. They'll probably they do that. They, they, I, I wonder whether they, they – that was a question I was going to have, and we don't know, but he's the only one been inducted so far in 2015. Yeah. And, and years past, you know, there's two, three, four He should, he should go in alone. Can, yeah. And, and it'll be a very emotional day, and I would imagine there are going to be 75,000 so. people standing yeah. up and, and sure. giving him a long, loud ovation. And, and I hope he – I hope he's able to come. Yeah, I hope yeah. He, that's still unclear. At this Dan, point. thanks. Thanks, guys. Dan Petty, Digital Director of Sports for uh, the Denver Post. Go to denverpost.com to see what's trending now.